How come you came here? How come? To, you know, remember these men who fought for our country and, you know, pay respect to them. You know what? I went to Vietnam in 1963 as a young guy, probably 23 years old, and I served there twice. And this is a special place for guys like me. I retired as a general. I was a senior officer in the U.S. Army, and I'd love to come to this place. It's really special. And you know what? It means a lot to guys like me that you would think of coming here. Because these guys right here, you know, you look at it, a black soldier, a white guy, and probably a Hispanic, the guy on the left, they were just doing what they thought was right. And thanks a lot. Well, we Thank you. We appreciate you. you. <laughs> well, you know, when you're young, you do anything. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, as you can see from the wall itself down there, uh, they're looking at their buddies. Now, you know, they're looking at their buddies. They may in fact be people in the mind of the artist who were on the wall, but they may be the living who are looking at their buddies who are there on the wall. And they're leaving, to me, they're leaving the landing zone going on to another fight. Uh, they look like real, real soldiers in battle. Uh, the towel was something we wore around our necks uh, because it was always hot and muggy and at night it got bitter cold. Uh, the weapons, everything is perfect on it and the way they are standing. These guys are real soldiers and they evoke lots of memories, lots of memories of lots of days which were not so much fun. And I think the thing everybody needs to know about these guys is that they were selfless. They were selfless of themselves for something larger than themselves, the causes of the United States of America. <laughs>